on paper, if I would have showed the 14-year-old version of me what I had accomplished, if I could yeah. go back in time and be like, bro, look what you just did. The 14-year-old version of me would be like, like, what? Like, yeah. I knew it, you know what I mean? But the actual, you know, at that time, 28-year-old version or 29-year-old version was not feeling like, uh, was not feeling good, you know what I mean? It was not feeling, uh, it wasn't enough appreciation. It wasn't enough, like, uh, recognition of what I was actually doing. It was okay. too much emphasis and focus on where I wasn't yet. And okay. that hadn't been me up until that point. So that spark, it, it probably was like a couple year. Uh, is, that, is that you? You're saying like the, the focus on what you were doing and the emphasis um, from the outside. Is that you putting pressure on yourself? Is that you not being happy with not hearing certain things about the work you're doing? 100%. Okay. That was it. It was right. ego driven, Got 100%. It, it was Got like it. a... There was a nugget somebody dropped for me. They didn't know what I was going through necessarily, but maybe they maybe they saw something. But it it, it sparked it sparked a practice that would lead me to exactly what you started the conversation with, which was like just a more like peaceful place in my life and more of a whew, whew, you know what I mean. And that was a uh, at the time I had and at this time it's it's the team. My team ain't right. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. At that time when it's ego driven, mm-hmm. like and, and you're not getting the things you want. And at this time for me, it was like, oh, the Grammy. They not fucking. Oh, the uh, the such and such magazine or this boom, boom boom. Why I'm not in the? Yeah. Why I'm not up here? Yeah. You know what I mean. This is quietly what was happening in my mind. Yeah. So I got with this new publicist, Captain Fraser, and uh, she's amazing woman, and and. Uh, and you know, in the midst of us talking, we would have conversations outside of like just career. And she was just telling me how she was uh, into meditation. She was into like transcendental meditation, boom, boom. And I had flirted with it like in my early 20s, like practiced it a little bit, just didn't really know what I was doing, but had a nice little experience, but I didn't dive into it. Uh, but mind you, her telling me about that was coinciding with me uh, realizing, yo, something, something's going on, bro. Wow. You gotta, you gotta, so. So I had set rules for myself. One was like, bro, you can't go on social media no more. Like okay. we're from the first generation of like entertainers, celebrities, whatever, where it's like, bro, you could literally at any minute see what somebody's saying about you, you know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, there was nobody to tell you like cigarettes. When the whole world for decades was smoking cigarettes, uh, there, wasn't a, there wasn't anybody loudly saying like, uh, that's, that's gonna kill yeah, you. you and about, you probably shouldn't do that. It you took a long it time for somebody to, to realize how harmful this was yeah. and, and similarly we're in a we're in a generation where our entertainers our basketball players are boom boom like no one was there and even now nobody's there to be like don't yeah google yourself don't don't search your name on boom boom so i say all that to say i had set some rules for myself some baseline rules like yo don't don't go on twitter don't read your reply yeah do not search your name boom boom, boom. that's rule number one number two when you're creating, you gotta create from a pure place only. Like there was a rule I set for myself, like everything has to only be truly what you feel in your heart. And this is of course coming because you saw you saw yourself do the opposite. Oh, you saw yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah. you saw yourself dive deep yeah. into the space of social media. I'm searching. Yeah. I see what they're saying. Oh. I'm getting angry. Oh, yeah. I'm getting irritated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How the fuck, what the fuck? Sure. Okay, now I'm creating and my and, creative and is coming it, from yes, I'm, bro. this is infusing 100%. and influencing my creative. 100%. Bitch, I see what you said on the yeah, tw- yeah. like it's it's now 100%. becoming a part. You the know nastiest place to ever do some art artful shit. Yeah. And some and some pure it's just like, yo, you can't it's like you have to re- leave all room, I feel like, in the creative process for like for God. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And the minute you start like thinking about what somebody else is gonna think about it, boom, 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 I caught myself in that space for a moment. And it was so unfamiliar to me because that's never how I used to work. Mm-hmm. And it was, and so to get up out of that, I had set these ground rules. Was it struggle though? What, was, it, uh, was it an easy transition? It was easy. Was it a battle? No, it was, it was uh, I mean, I'm not gonna say it was like, you, cause you realize those things are addictions, right? Mm-hmm. Those things become addictions. Like, like social media becomes an addiction. So yeah, in a in sense, it's, it's like, you have to, you have to, check yourself and tell yourself, like, don't do that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. or catch yourself, not get off of there. Mm-hmm. But every time you, every time, we, I feel like, uh, every time you say no, and like, like while battling like an addiction, it's like you get stronger. You add okay. a pebble to your like, to your strength, you okay. know what I mean? So like that. I like that. You know what I mean? It's like, yo, the, the what no is a powerful thing and you get stronger and the other thing gets just a little more weaker. So, so, um, but, so while I set these ground rules for myself, she mentioned the meditation. And she had explained to me like how her experience with it and like how life changed it was and how clear she felt, boom, boom. So I was like, you know what? I was out in LA, like I had came out here to work on the album. I had the album titles, 2014 Forest Hill Drive. 
I had it all mapped out. I knew what the hours was gonna be called. I knew I was gonna buy the house back. It all felt like it was like supposed to happen. And, um, and I started adding that. By the time five months hit, I would have these revelations and clarity about my life. And I would see what was actually happening in my life and where I was headed. You know what I mean?